Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction. Um, one of my subscribers requested that I react to Tamia and Deborah Cox singing um, Whitney Houston, CC Winans' hit Count On Me. And now uh, this song, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite duets. Um, it's one of my favorite um, Whitney Houston songs. I freaking adore Tamia, as I mentioned in uh, when I reacted to Morissette and Jej Vincent singing I'm Officially Missing You a couple weeks ago. I mentioned how Tamia is such an underrated singer and she's just such an amazing talent and that I want to feature on the channel. So I figured this would be a great introduction to her talents. And Deborah Cox is freaking amazing as well. I've seen them sing before. Um, in concert, they sang um, same script, different cast a few years back. And I enjoyed that as well. So without further ado, we're just going to dive into Tamia and Deborah Cox. And Shep Crawford playing the piano. Count on me through thick and thin. A friendship that will never end. When you are weak, I will be strong. Helping you to carry on. Sing the song, girl. Never gonna end, but we'll get through it. Just don't give in. You can count on me through thick and thin. A friendship that will never end. When you are weak, I will be strong. Like, girl, like, 
they, they, they look phenomenal. I don't know what black magic lighting Tamiya had going on over there, but she was like glowing and luminous and just looked like she stepped out of a freaking magazine. She was just stunning. And Deborah ain't aged a day. She, she, she looked, she looked gorgeous. But God, their voices, their voices are so damn good. And this, this was, this was just like a little taste. This was a very low key display, but by no means is this the apex of their talent. By no means is this their limit. This is just, like I said, it's a little taste, but both of them are badass women and can do so much more vocally. They can do, so, like the riffs and runs they did here were so impressive, so slick. The harmonies were so tight and just so delicate and beautiful. They sounded beautiful, but they, they, they can do so much so much more belting, so much more riffing, so much more, like they have so much more vocal capability than this little sample we got here. And oh, I can't wait to feature more of what they can do on, on this channel. Um, to Mia, what, I, what I've always loved about Tamiya is her voice is, it's so pure. It's so clean. Like, like there's, it's, it's just clean and perfect and pure and she always seems to be pitch perfect. Like she's always, always on pitch. Like I've, I've never heard her sing a bad note. I've never heard a bad vocal come from Timia, leave Tamiya's lips. And she's been in the game since she was 16. Like, and now that was what, like 16, 20 years ago, something like that. I don't know. So she's been in the game for a while and her voice has not faltered or failed in the least. She's gotten gone through all sorts of health issues. She, she's an advocate for MS. Um, and like, there's just so many things that have gone on and her voice is still as strong. Like it's pretty and angelic, but at the same time, she has so much strength and soul behind it. Like when she's ready to put the gas on it, like it just has this weight to it. But, uh, uh, so good, so good. And Deborah Cox just has one of those naturally powerful instruments. Like she doesn't have to try, the power is just there. So then when she puts the gas on the pedal, that power just amplifies like tenfold. Oh, so, ooh, mm, they're so good, they're so good. I want, I, want to, I want them to do more together. I want them to do more. I need them to go to the studio and cut something together. Well, once all this COVID-19 stuff has kind of died down. Um, but in the meantime, I need them to collaborate some more and just you know, give me more, give me more, because God, they are so good, so stinking good. And then Shep Crawford on the piano, he's fantastic. Um, I know he wrote, he, he's written a number of tracks and whatnot, but I know he wrote Stranger in My House for Tamiya, um, and he wrote Me for Tamiya, and he's written, you know, other songs and whatnot, and he's a fantastic pianist as well. So, you know, he did fantastic on the piano here. Um, yeah, every, every, everything about this, just love, 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 love the song, love the vocalist, love the pianist, love, just love, 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 love. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, sure to be sure to leave it down in the comments or send it to me on my various social media and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, and if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Um, you don't have to, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. All the information is down in the description and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. And before you go, I want to give a huge shout out to my first five patrons, Lester Wilfred, Nell, Jam Val, Ollie Shell, and Earl Patrick. I'm so excited to have you guys on board and I cannot begin to thank you for your support. Hopefully I'll continue to make quality content that you'll want to continue supporting in the future. And if any of you guys would like to join us on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for all of your favorite reaction videos. We've got playlists for Morissette Amon, Kelly Clarkson, Katrina Velarde, Tori Kelly, and more, so be sure to check them out.